Hello, I'm Chris from Domino Clamps and I'm here at Blue Bear Storage in Buckingham to tell you all about Domino Clamps, what they do and what they can be used for. Let's do it. If you don't know already, Domino Clamps are a reusable attachment point for shipping containers, allowing you to bolt almost anything onto a shipping container without the need to get a welder, a drill or anything. All you need is a 10mm hex key or perhaps a torque wrench. If you know your way around shipping containers, then you'll recognise this. It's an ISO standard corner casting. This one is a top left casting. As you can see, it's got three different holes in it. This one we'll call the top hole. This one here we'll call the shield hole. And this one here is the stadium hole. Now, the domino clamp is designed to work in both the shield and stadium holes which you'll find on all four sides of a container, but it's not designed to work in this top hole. So please don't go sticking it where it doesn't belong. Before you start, check that the inside of the corner casting is in good condition and is clear of debris and loose material. Many of these containers have had a hard old life at sea, so there can be rust build up in here. Just scrape away what you can. Also, if the container has been sat for some time, don't be surprised to find animals or birds nesting in here. And if you're somewhere more exotic than beside the A422 in Buckinghamshire, the creatures might not be too friendly, so be careful. We found a scorpion in a ground level casting in Spain once, so don't go sticking your hands into dark holes without checking what's inside. Do we really need to fill that out here? The domino clamp is in two main parts, which were drop forged not far from here in the West Midlands. This is the front plate, and this is the clamping plate. On the back of the front plate is the boss and the cam mechanism. Joining the two is a high tensile M16 tightening bolt. In the front are four threaded holes for bolting whatever it is you need to the domino. These are M12 threads, the spacing of them is 50 millimetres vertically and 100 millimetres horizontally, centre to centre. To get the domino ready for use, undo the central bolt all the way using a 10 millimetre hex key. They're shipped out in a clamp position, so undo this while keeping the head of the bolt in position and you'll see the clamping plate move into alignment with the boss. Once in this position, insert the clamping plate and boss inside either the shield or stadium holes like this with the domino clamps writing the right way up and hold it flush to the front of the casting. Let the weight of the domino allow it to rest on the bottom of the hole you're using. Especially with the shield hole, try not to let it sit against the side or top surface. Holding the domino in this position, horizontal, now do up that central bolt. As you can see, as this bolt tightens up in the casting, the clamping plate rotates 90 degrees and then clamps the domino firmly to the front of the corner casting. We recommend you do this up to about 35 to 40 newton meters, which is a, a pretty firm go at it with a long arm hex key. Or better still, if you've got a torque wrench to hand, use that to get it just right. Please don't use an impact driver for this job. If you really need to save those precious seconds, do the first bit with a drill driver to get the early work done and then finish off the tightening by hand. An impact driver will just over tighten and could damage the thread. Now you can attach whatever you need to the domino clamps using the threaded holes on the front face. The domino front plate is 20 millimeters thick, so make sure to have no more thread going in than this. Otherwise, your bolt is gonna hit the casting and not do its job properly. For instance, if you had to bolt this 25mm plate with a 2mm washer, that's 25 plus 2 plus 20 for the domino equals 47mm maximum thread. So get yourself 45mm long M12 bolts for the job. Now to undo the clamp. Same as before, but in reverse. Undo the central bolt applying a small amount of forward pressure to keep that bolt sitting in its countersink. The clamping plate will rotate back in a vertical position and you'll be able to easily remove the clamp from the hole. Now remember, just because you can do something, it doesn't mean you should. Please read through the technical sheet and pay attention to recommended working loads in each of the holes and don't exceed what you see there. 
Also, while we're talking safety, please don't use these to lift a container. There's plenty of products out there for lifting containers and this is not one of them. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Blue Bear Storage here in sunny Buckinghamshire. We can't say sunny, can we? Rural Buckinghamshire. Subscribe for more videos. We'll be back with more detailed explanations for attaching things to containers. Next up, how to attach a scaffolding tube. And join us on Facebook to enter our Domino Clamps Challenge competition, where you can challenge us to attach weird and wonderful things to a shipping container.